What is up guys, welcome to RAM Overload. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to find an open source alternate to any product that you have. Okay, so what are the benefits of using an open source uh, product rather than a typical enterprise product? So normally open source products are free, right? So compared to like, let's say Photoshop, um, you know, they have free versions of, or not Photoshop, but like alternate of Photoshop that are completely free. That's one thing. And the other thing about open source is that they usually, I, I want to say always, but they usually are um, good in the sense that they have a really big community behind them, right? So meaning since it is free, there are more people using it than the, let's say the paid version. And since there are more people using it, they have more questions and more solutions. And just overall, they, there's a better community um, in the open source world. Uh, so yeah, let, so the website is called open source alternative.2. Okay. Um, you can see over here, it's a pretty simple website, right? Uh, you can see all these products or uh, software that they have. I think they have uh, 300 over 350. And let's just say I wanted an open source alternate for a design tool. Uh, you know, normally you would have um, some application where if, if you're a designer you want something for that you can use any of these free software that are listed over here let's just go through a few of them let's say developer tools so these ones right here um, you know I'm sure you've probably heard of a couple of them already maybe not all of them but uh, definitely some of them you've probably heard of and over here you can see this is the github uh, star rating over here that basically shows how many people are using it so that's definitely useful. Obviously, um, the higher ones are used a lot more than the ones on the bottom. Okay, uh, let's say a database. Oh, I saw, thought I saw a database. Okay, yeah, right here. So these are other free databases um, alternate to uh, your typical paid database. So Postgres, um, I know most people have probably heard of that. And then there's also, uh, where is the uh, Neo4j for like graph, um, databases and things like that so yeah this is the website pretty simple pretty easy to use um, definitely check it out it's a great uh, tool to have in your belt you know just to, in case you want to work on something small and want to you know just try something free and not paid so yeah let me know what you guys thoughts are if you liked the video make sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time peace